Motorcycles, motorcycles, motorcycles. They're everywhere, racing around Virginia State. the twisty windy trail of Geiger Grade Road, you'll eventually find yourself possibly a little car sick. But also at the foot of a once prosperous Virginia City. What's amazing about Virginia City is that it's darn near a ghost town, but has fought hard to keep alive after the decline of the mining operations that brought it to life. Close to Reno, this tiny establishment safe ends just enough tourists and Reno locals to stay kicking and getting more than two million tourists each year. Springing up in the 1800s, Big Mining sold this place prosper to around 25,000 people at one time. Today, less than 855 residents still keep the small peak into old western life available for us to explore. Enough about history, bring on the motorcycles! The event was packed! Tons of riders participate each year and the events keep getting bigger. Poking around for an interview, we found the president of the event, and here's what he had to say. This is Kurt Chapman, president of the Virginia City Motorcycle Club, and here we are in the 48th annual Virginia City Grand Prix, and it's an exciting year. We've got great weather out here right now, we're super pleased about that. We've got a lot of changes this year in the race. We've got some new elements on the course, which right behind us is a, an enduro cross section that they're going to be quite surprised. After doing 23 miles out in the desert, they're going to come up here in the middle of town and race in front of all the spectators in this historic setting. We're looking at about 450 riders today, maybe 900. 925 total for the weekend. We set a record this morning when we signed up our 61st pro. We have 61 pro racers out there today. Never had so many. Here we go. 48th annual Virginia City Grand Prix. The race is on. This man brought everything together to keep things fun and free to the public. The race began just after 10 a.m. and lasted for four hours. The track was huge at 25 miles and had tons of places for great photo opportunities. The riders got spread out quite a bit by the second lap, allowing for constant action. It must have been a blast. It isn't every day you get to ride fast enough to get air on public roads. With food and shops lining the street, it's a great time to come relax and check out some of the vendors who help sponsor the event. This is Raymond here with Rip City Riders, and we're uh, raffling off a bike today. All the proceeds straight from the raffle bike go to Ronald McDonald House. Raymond rode up on his 2016 Harley Street Bob with a bunch of other riders to help with this event. Besides being a motorcycle club, we're a 501c3 nonprofit charity organization. We're all about, you know, helping our community. There are lots of businesses, just like this one, keeping this event alive and helping people have a great weekend. As the event was coming to an end, we got to see the victory of the race in several podium placements while the crowds all hung around and cheered. Just finishing the race was an accomplishment in itself, and something worth celebrating. By the time the last bike came in, the crowds were already starting to disperse. Looking back, I'd really like to attend this event as a rider one day. As hard as it seemed to be, it also looked like a lot of fun. And with the new class being established for younger ages, I think even my youngest brother could participate next year. So what did you think of this event? Have you ever participated in a motorcycle race? If so, leave a comment below and tell us about it. We have more to see this summer in Virginia City, such as the Virginia City Hill Climb, so be sure to click subscribe and turn on bell notifications because you won't want to miss that. That's just a glimpse of what you're missing unless you put the Virginia City Grand Prix on the map. Thanks for watching. Everywhere I go.